Audio, I'm starting out on the uh, Papens Bay Day Fishing Adventures. It's about 3.30 in the morning. I'm on my way to Quambian to pick up a mate Luke. He's going to come with me today. We should be on the water around 6 somewhere, maybe a touch earlier. Right on daylight. Well, hey, we're at uh, Hanging Rock Boat Room. Luke's driving. I'm going to back us in. From here it looks pretty good. Alright, it's about 6 o'clock. Heading out of Hanging Rock Boat Ramp. Got Luke and myself. Hey. Let's see if we can catch some fish. Yeah. Sun's coming up here. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? It looks awesome. A fair bit more swell than we'd like. Make it a bit of a slow trip out. Alright, so we've pulled up. We're into about 41 metres of water here. So there we go. Hello, right, Luke's on to something. A bit of bend in his rod. A little flash of colour. Little pan sized snapper, you kiss her. Right, uh, got my first fish. Good size leather jacket. How big? About size 10 big. <laughs> Just pulled up this little pan sized snapper. It'll taste good. Got a fresh bait down and uh, grab this wrasse. Beautiful. Good little snapper. Yeah. Must have been that burly I gave it. Probably 10 minutes into a bit of a fight here. Something pretty decent. About 30 metres of water and drop fresh baits down. And something snagged it. Pulled line off for a few minutes. Couldn't stop it. Oh, I can see a flash of colour. That was big. Colour, it's mm. I've had this 10 kilo over for a while now. There's a big a shark. It's a shark of some sort. Foul hooked. Fucking hell, look at this thing! That screen's not showing anymore either. That's all right. Yeah, what? <laughs> oh, that's pretty unlucky. Uh, what is he? I don't know, I didn't see what sort it was. That's a foul hook shark of some sort. How long do you reckon that is? Meter and a half? Yeah. I struggled to identify it when out in the water, so to be sure I let it go. With a bit of research after I got home, I'm pretty confident it was a gummy shark. I won't make that mistake again. Oh, we're just moving in a little bit closer, trying to get a bit to a different mark. Still got a fair bit of swell with us. It's hard to tell, but definitely over two metres and a few. An occasional wave, they're pretty bloody big. This one, for example. Whee! <laughs>
Luke's on, he's got a double hook up here. A bit of bait for next time for us. Enjoying your day out so far, Luke? Very good. That's the way. Of these little things. Oops, double hook up of these things. Plenty of bait for next time. What happened? Got bitten off. Bitten off. They're aggressive little buggers, aren't they? We had a few bite offs on these buggers. Look at that. Look at that oh, it's a That's a lead up, so that's. Pretty heavy line, too. Now we're trying to flat head spot in front of Tollgate. Really got nothing there. He's going to go back in, have a look for some squid, and maybe call the quits after that. Oh, it's not a bad morning. Looks got a couple of snapper, right? a few rats and some other things there. Probably nothing real good for a feed. A bit of bait for next time as well. I've just seen the marine rescue guys go out and I was talking to the maritime guy, apparently if someone's flipped their boat out the front. That's no good. It was pretty choppy when we came back in. All in all we did pretty well. We've got a great box of fish. Leather jacket, whiting. A little pan sized snapper, sergeant baker, a few wrasse, an anagai, a bunch of barracuda for future bait. It's a real pity about letting the gummy go, and it won't happen next time. We ended up with a good plate of fillets to feed the family. <laughs>